Everything is frozen except Rosemary's Plum Bob is just spinning. Spin, spin, spin. Hi everyone and welcome back to Rags to Riches slash Generations slash I still don't know what I'm calling this gameplay. It started as a Rags to Riches rent edition with Rosemary, but then we married Judith Ward, oh, who's now waking up, and had our daughter Alexandria. And I would really like to do Rags to Riches with the crystal pack with Alexandria, but like, she's an infant right now. So right now we're just kind of doing some Generations gameplay while we wait for Alexandria to get older. This is also partially because the other series I do on my channel is the 100 Baby Challenge, where I just like try and speed run the entire like childhood growth stage. And so I kind of want to take some time to really appreciate it. So that's what we're doing. Oh, my cat is a attacking someone. Who are you? Paparazzi? Why? Wait, hold on. I know we got paparazzi at our old place because like it was a celebrity home, but maybe that's not what causes the paparazzi. I thought it was. Well, let's try a private dwelling. Because the whole reason we're out here in Copperdale is because Rosemary and Judith are both five-star global celebrities, and they just want some peace and quiet in which they can raise their daughter. Also, I just realized for Rosemary being a five-star celebrity, she is also still a handy person. Maybe I should have her change jobs, but not today. We'll come back to that thought. Judith, uh, what are you doing? No, don't beat up the cat. Judith, I got this in honor of your cat, Nova. Also, apparently Judith doesn't like always come with a cat, but in this save, Neighborhood Stories gave Judith a cat before I met her. So that's how we have a cat now. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm sending Rosemary to work with like awful needs. It's okay, it's okay. Then Judith, mm, you have a gig tomorrow. In the meantime, you have to practice your dramatic scenes and develop your acting skill. Well, I think you can develop your acting skill in a mirror, right? And then I still haven't fully figured out how to do the monologues. Do I need like a mic for that? Cause I can perform musical scene, but I don't need to. I need to perform a dramatic scene. Oh, according to the internet, she has to reach level nine of acting first. That's interesting. I really thought that Judith Ward, like the most famous celebrity in the whole pack, would have max acting skill. I'm surprised that she doesn't, but I don't really think I'm gonna cheat it. Well, at least she can practice her acting skill. And then she needs to host a meet and greet. I guess we can do that from the phone. She needs to finish acting first though. I'm sorry, Judith is bored from the environment? This is a very good house, excuse me. Oop, Alexandria's awake and angry about it. I'm gonna try and get fed by Judith. And actually, you know what? I forgot a high chair in here again. Oh, Rosemary's home. I'm gonna put the high chair there. Don't mind it next to this um, ladder into nowhere. That's just where we're keeping our vault. Rosemary is tense. Do, well, do you wanna come hang out with Alexandria? Since Judith is like a little busy right now, let's pick you up. Oh my goodness, Alexandria's birthday is tomorrow already? That's kind of crazy. I'm gonna have her change Alexandria's diaper and then come give her some food. And then today's the lottery, so we might actually have Rosemary enter that. I know it's like a fat chance, but imagine, imagine if it happened. Rosemary, I told you to put her in the high chair. Rosemary, can you please come here? Oh my goodness. I know that she can get over there. No, pick up your daughter and then go over there. Oh my gosh, she's infuriating. Now put... Alexandria in the high chair. My goodness, why was that so hard? Then help her explore food. Um, she likes ice cream, or she loves ice cream, sorry, and she dislikes mango. I don't know, let's try pumpkin puree. Oh, she didn't like pumpkin puree. Okay, let's try something else. Maybe applesauce? I don't know, she didn't like mango, so I was gonna steer away from fruit, but like, I don't know. Applesauce is good. Oh, she liked applesauce. Okay, that's nice, but she's angry? Oh, from the pumpkin puree, I think. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, did I forget a thermostat in this house? I might have. No, it's right there. Maybe I just didn't turn it on. That's what it was. I didn't turn it on. Honestly, I have cats. So whenever I hear Nova meowing like that, it kind of makes me like fret for a second because I'm like, oh no, is that my cats? It's not, it's the game. Well, let's see. Alexandria's birthday is tomorrow. So like what milestones have we not accomplished yet? She hasn't learned to crawl and she hasn't finished her fine motor. Well, um, let's, I guess, work on that. Rosemary, stop lick block dancing and get your daughter out of the high chair. Why is that so difficult? Oh my gosh, she's still just dancing in the hallway. Okay, now come over here and do tummy time together, please. Oh wait, we can practice standing and crawling? We'll do that. Aw, this is kind of cute. I mean, except Alexandria is like really upset, but otherwise it's really cute. <laughs> oh man, she looks really upset. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're in first person mode. <laughs> this is incredibly cursed. Hated that. 
I just recently found out about first person mode, by the way. On PC, it's shift tab. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, we can actually interact with stuff in first person mode? That's crazy. Um, kind of hurts my eyes though, so I'm not gonna do it. Oh, Rosemary got a sentiment with Alexandria. That's really cute, actually. Okay, now they're gonna practice standing. That seemed really short lived, actually. Um, do it again. Also, Rosemary has like maxed out the handy person skill and is a celebrity for painting. So I think we're gonna switch her job to painting. Judith leveled up her acting skill. Has she still been working on that this whole time? Oh my gosh, you can stop. I'm sorry. She still hasn't done the meet and greet event. I have to invite fans? Well, I guess we can just invite everybody we know, which is for some reason not that many people. And let's have it not at our house. We can maybe have it in Del Sol Valley at the lounge. Oh, is it happening now? <gasps> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess it's happening right now, even though Judith's needs are like awful. Didn't mean to make that happen. Oh, also Judith really wants to participate in the lottery. Okay, let's do that before I forget. Then can you like go to the bathroom and get some food here? Since I accidentally did not let you take care of your needs before we came. Um, and Rosemary's straight chilling. Okay, she needs to socialize with fans, sign autographs, tell stories and pose for pictures. I'm not sure if Rosemary can do these and have it work towards Judith's meet and greet, but like, let's try. Hey, my game froze. Um, that's kind of nerve wracking. Please don't crash. Everything is frozen except Rosemary's plum bob is just spinning. Spin, spin, spin. Crap. It has been six minutes and it is still frozen. I think I'm gonna have to crash my own game. That sucks. Oh wait, no, it's gonna let me save first. Okay. <gasps> well, okay, let's start this back up again. I hope it doesn't ruin the meet and greet that we were doing. Okay, we're back. That was really unpleasant. It looks like the meet and greet is still going though. Hopefully it's not like glitched out. I wanted Rosemary to change outfits, by the way. That's what glitched it last time. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. It also looks like Rosemary hanging out with the fans does not count, which makes sense. It is Judith's meet and greet, but I thought it might count. Dang, Rosemary's hungry too. Can we get like chips or something from the bar? There's already a mixologist hired, but he's not tending the bar. Oh, order food. Sure, get a pretzel. Then Judith, I don't really know who here is your fan versus who's not your fan because like the sign autograph stuff isn't coming up with everybody. Okay, she's socializing now, that's good. Oh, Judith has a bad reputation, so this might not go well. Besties romantic introduction? That's, I don't know what that means. Oh, she's passed out now. Okay, um, I just wanted to introduce myself, but then I was like worried about doing it romantically accidentally. Rosemary's just straight chilling. She doesn't have to do anything here, except try not to crash my game again. Also, the bouncer looks cool. Anyway. I feel like there's not that many people here, honestly. Which, yeah, I guess we didn't invite that many people, but like, how am I supposed to do all of these things? Also, she has signed autographs and posed for pictures and it has not counted. Whatever, I guess it doesn't say to hold a successful meet and greet for her aspiration. It just says to hold one. Uh, Judith, where are you going? Oh, there's celebrity tiles? That's kind of cool. I bet Judith would deface one. <gasps> That's so funny. Does Judith have one? Oh my gosh, she does. That's so cool. Can we give Rosemary one? Oh my gosh, Rosemary has one. How nice. Also, this did count for Rosemary's aspiration too. So that's great. I'm gonna update the inscription. Rosemary Banks, the most artistic landlord you ever did see. I don't know. That's cool though. I'm glad that she's on there. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of done with this meet and greet. It's not my vibe, but at least we did it. And it counted for the aspiration. So let's go home. Sorry, we're in cast now. I know that was kind of like a quick jump, but I need to change Nova's traits. I cannot handle her being talkative. I keep thinking it's my own cats. And maybe that's a me problem, but it's having me on edge the whole time I'm playing. So I need to change her traits. Prowler's fine, talkative had to go. And then I also got rid of territorial because I feel like that's just an excuse to make noise as well. Um, I'll give her clever and lazy. Maybe she'll be quiet now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad, but like I was losing my mind. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, Alexandria was playing with Nova, so you can keep doing that. And then it's getting pretty late actually, so maybe like everybody can go to bed. Although their needs are a little subpar, so maybe they should eat first? Nah. And then I'm gonna have Alexandria sleep next to Nova. Maybe, as long as Nova doesn't like leave. What are you doing, Nova? Is she just running around? Okay. All right, everyone's asleep. The lottery was enjoyable, but I guess we did not win it. Otherwise it would have told us. I've never actually won the lottery, so what do I know? Oh, Alexandria got the toe and mouth milestone. That's cool. I believe it's her birthday today, so we might actually handle that sooner than later. It is her birthday today. All right, come pick her up. Judith, can you like go get started on the cake? Or wait, no, you have work today. Oh, but not till noon. Yeah, she can make a cake. Oh, Rosemary has work. I think I didn't finish changing her job when the game crashed. So we need to do that real quick. Oh, she's playing on the swings. That's nice. I'd like her to become a painter. There we go. She's just casually swinging into the living room. Um, I guess that's on me for putting the swings so close, but it's fine. 
Judith, you ate the cake! Fine, put it away and make a new one, please. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you've done this. All right, now put candles on it before anybody eats it, please. Help blow out candles, Alexandra Banks. Rosemary, you should like maybe come over for this. No, she's too busy painting. Okay, that's fine. Oh, she's a happy infant. That's nice. And she's silly, a silly little toddler. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, I'm so excited for Alexandria. Oh, and it glitched out again. That's fine. Let's see, how long is she a toddler for? Oh, a weekend game. Okay, that's not that bad. Although, you know, we're trying to get a move on. Maybe I'm gonna change the lifespan to short. Yeah, that moves it up a few days. Okay. I mean, we're already here, so what if we can get Judith to help her go potty? How did your painting go? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, could you make another one though? And I may actually have Alexandria come out here and play on the slide, because then if she can get her movement high enough, she'll be able to go up the stairs by herself. Judith is feeding the pond. That's quite nice of you. You have work soon. Do you want to like shower before you go? She's still bored from the decor? Judith, you're just like rude. It's time for Judith to head off to work. Do I care to follow? Not really, honestly. You got this, Judy. Have fun. Oh, and it's that cursed mascot costume again. Oh no. What is this gig? Tournament of Honor? I have so many questions. Alexandria is sad because Judith left and then tired from low energy. I might replace this cot with a toddler bed for now, since we don't actually have a kid. And here, come take a nap. Oh. Oh, and Rosemary finished a masterpiece. How much does that cost? Oh, and she's on the treadmill and she's upset about it. No, you can't dislike fitness. She has like level seven or something fitness. Yeah, from her wedding? She just like danced so hard that she got level seven fitness. It was quite funny, actually. Come pee. I think that's why you're so upset. Now workout, I guess? Alexandria is very warm. I wonder if we can get some of those splash pads from growing together. We have room over here, even though the lot's kind of crowded. But she might enjoy it. That'd be cute. Here, come over here and play in the water. That might help you like cool down. It took her so long to get over here that she's tired now. That's kind of unfortunate. It also doesn't look like the water's cooling her off. Maybe get into your hot weather outfit. You have two hot weather outfits. Uh, I don't think I did that. Yeah, I think Alexandria needs to take a little nap. Oh, and Rosemary needs to shower. My goodness, she's smelly. Filthy even. Aw, she's going to sleep. How cute. Dang, it's 8.30 and Judith is still at work. Alexandria just woke up from her nap, so I think I might have Rosemary get her some food. And honestly, the high chair here just keeps glitching. So I'm gonna put it in the hallway, even though that doesn't make sense. Oh, Alexandria got cake. No, 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 you may not have cake. Oh gosh, did she get some already? You can't have cake. This late at night, you're gonna be up all night from sugar. No cake for you, stop. Okay, can you pick her up please? Thank you. Okay, can you put her over here please? She says she can't reach it. I don't understand why, but now she can? This game is so glitchy sometimes. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, great, she's giving her food. And then honestly, Alexandria could also use a bath. Do we wanna try that? Do we wanna try giving her a bath? I feel like the game is like not doing the best in regards to glitches right now, so we'll see. Judith is home. She actually made money this time. Good job. You are tense and bored. My goodness. Oh, oh, we have an early midlife crisis, actually. That is interesting. Um, that might actually be kind of fun to play. Things are just blah right now. Well, your outfit is certainly not blah. Here, if you're feeling so bored, why don't you go jump in the pond? That's some excitement. This is a terrible idea. She's happy from swimming during warm weather and confident from not dying in the pond. See, that's all you needed, Judith. She's fine. Go to bed, get ready for bed. You've had a long day. Did Rosemary give her a bath? No, she did not. Rosemary, come on, give your daughter a bath, please. Oh, look at her in her cute little outfit. And she's a little singer. That's really precious. And then I had heard that you can convert a crib into a toddler bed. And so I want Rosemary to do that. I'm curious what kind of toddler bed it turns into. Oh, kind of a basic boring one, but that was still cool. It's the lore behind it, you know? Okay, Rosemary, you can go to bed now. And Alexandria, where are you? Oh, is she high enough movement skill to walk upstairs? She is. Okay, well, you can just come to bed yourself then. Oh, Alexandria hates bedtime. Time? But you're very, very tired, like angrily tired, like 15 minutes from exhaustion tired. Go to bed. And everyone's asleep now. Oh, never mind. Rosemary, why are you awake? Because your energy is full. Um, nope, not a good enough reason. Go back to bed. <laughs> it is 530 in the morning. Well, Rosemary's refusing to go back to sleep. And it's seven now, though, so that's like slightly better. So come eat something. 
Oh, and then we need to get Judith another gig. I think I keep getting her ones that are a little bit too high for her, like, skill level. So let's try a slightly lower one. Okay, she has until Sunday, so she's got a couple days. Oh, I think the cake spoiled by the time Rosemary got to it. That's really unfortunate, actually. Well, come get other food then. And Rosemary's off to work, starting her paint career, even though she's been freelancing this whole time, but it's fine. And then Judith is low on fun. I wonder if she would enjoy splashing around in the water? Maybe. Also, I wonder if this is bad for like our power bill. She looks like she's having fun. That's kind of cute. It's helping our fun need, but like, oh, so slightly. Maybe just come in here and watch TV. I might actually call it there, guys. We made some progress today. Alexandria's a toddler now, which is exciting. We got Rosemary finally in a better career. She's been in that handy person career way too long. And I think Judith is in the early stages of a midlife crisis. Um, am I going to push her deeper into that midlife crisis? Absolutely. So I'll see you next time. As always, have a lovely day. Bye.